Hi, I'm Dr. Ku Eng Hui, Consultant Orthopedic Spine Surgeon from Glen Eagles, Penang. So today I'm going to talk about endoscopic spine surgery. Endoscopic spine surgery is the most minimal invasive surgery where we are targeting certain pathology and sparing the surrounding structures. So we need to use a special endoscope which has a working channel where we pass our instrument to reach the pathology and we have um, to attach a fiber optic uh, light, lighting system and also video camera to enable us to see the structures on the screen. So as compared to an open surgery, conventional open surgery, we need to detach muscles and also remove part of the bone to reach the structures that we are targeting. However, with an endoscopic spine surgery, we don't have to detach much muscles and we don't have to remove uh, uh, as much bone. So we can do the surgery on a, our low back, which is our lumbar spine, on our mid back, which is our thoracic spine, and at our neck, which is the cervical spine. So this is a very versatile system. We have two approaches. One is the transforaminal approach, where we can do surgery such as a discectomy and uh, we also have a approach from the back which is the interlaminar surgery which we can do for spinal stenosis uh, which is narrowing of the spinal canal so what is the benefit of this endoscopic spine surgery so the main benefit is we only need a small wound as you can see here the diameter of the endoscope is almost less than a pen so we will cause less tissue trauma and we will have less bleeding and also less scarring or adhesion and from the better illumination and uh, magnification we also can get a better visualization so uh, with a small wound and a very targeted uh, surgery we will have a quick recovery which the patient can ambulate soon after the surgery and the patient can back to work early and uh, have a shorter hospital stay and uh, because of that the patient will have a better outcome so for the efficacy of uh, endoscopic spine surgery the efficacy is actually comparable to a open spine surgery minus all the disadvantage so the risk is also similar to an open spine surgery but to a much lesser extent so um, with a smaller wound we will have a less risk for wound infection and with a better visualization we will have much less nerve root injury so who do we recommend the surgery for we recommend the surgery for um, those patients that are unable to go under open surgery like uh, very old patients with a lot of comorbidities. So we normally do this surgery for decompressions or discectomy surgery but we can't do this for uh, spinal instability or deformity cases. As a conclusion, I hope my brief overview of endoscopic spine surgery will give you a better understanding of this new technique. To get more information, you may visit a spine surgeon to find out more.